It's 6 p.m. Time to stop work. I just have to finish a few things off. No, no, you can do it tomorrow. Let's go home. Did you ever stop to think that maybe the reason why Germans are so famous for their work ethic and efficiency is because they actually respect their working hours and therefore their free time? In my opinion, German working culture is actually pretty great. Let me explain why. Good salaries and flexible working hours are super important to Germans. Salaries in Germany are typically higher than they are in the UK or other European countries, especially when it comes to public sector jobs like teaching. Although this does of course depend on the sector that you're working in. But talking about salary is still a difficult issue here. Although there are hopes that this will change with a pay transparency law. German bureaucracy is notorious and the amount of paper used is astronomical. The Germans print everything. It's no wonder digitalization is just limping along here. The average German works for almost 40 years, which is considerably higher than the European average. The typical working day is 9 to 6 or 8 to 5. The minimum amount of holiday is 20 days a year, but most people get even more than 30. You're fully expected to take all those days, so you don't need to feel guilty or stressed about taking holiday. The same goes for sick days. Achoo! You don't need to feel guilty about taking a day off work due to sickness and nobody's going to ask you any questions. You can normally have three days off before you need a doctor's note and sick days are usually paid. One thing office workers argue about most often is whether to open or close the window. Germans love fresh air at work. OK, we need to talk about the gender pay gap. Women earn, on average, per hour, almost a fifth less than men. Compared to the rest of Europe, Germany has one of the highest gender pay gaps. This is for multiple reasons. Women are often more likely to work in part-time jobs, work in lower paid jobs, or negotiate less money. A women's quota was introduced in 2016 so that at least 30% of newly appointed board positions in listed companies need to be women. What's it like in your country? Germany is actually one of the countries in Europe where people work the least, probably because they actually stick to their working hours. But the desire for a better balance between gainful employment on the one hand and private life on the other is definitely growing, and surveys show that more and more people are feeling overwhelmed with their workload. The Berlin Social Science Centre is researching the issue. And what is the younger generation's attitude toward work? Is Gen Z really that work shy? Work researcher Lena Hipp can tell us. I wouldn't say they are lazy. I think they have somewhat different priorities. They don't put paid work, employment above all else uh, um, in the world. And I think this is, can also have really beneficial elements. You know, if you think about democracy, you know, people need to engage, you know, you also have to have time for raising kids, for taking care of elderly people. So I think there's also positive aspects of this. And, you know, just because you don't want to work 40 hour plus does not mean that you are a lazy person. How has work culture in Germany actually developed over the last few years? Twice as many people work from home nowadays as they did in the time before the pandemic. And of course, this changes, you know, how people interact at the workplace, how they organize meetings. Overall, the labor market is doing pretty well. It's easy for employees to find a new job. Employers are looking for new personnel. They are really having sometimes a hard time finding adequate um, employees. And organizations try to fill this by um, attracting women, in particular mothers, to join the labour force. They also seek to attract workers from other countries to fill these open positions. But the labour shortage in Germany is nothing new. As a consequence of World War II, male workers in particular were in short supply. This is why Germany invited guest workers to come from other countries. Many Italians, Turks and Greeks came to Germany in the late 1950s and into the 60s and stayed. Now their children and grandchildren are living here and shaping German culture. All right, now you're all clued up on German working culture. Here's some vocab you need to know. Feierabend. This directly translates to celebratory evening, but it actually just means the end of the working day. Gehaltswunsch. This is your salary request, 
which is typically mandatory on job applications. Gleitzeit, flexi time. This means you have a fixed number of hours, but you can choose more or less when you want to take them. Unbezahltes Praktikum. This is an unpaid internship, which is generally illegal in Germany unless you're a working student or if it's for longer than three months. Otherwise, it's a requirement to be paid minimum wage at 12 euros an hour. That's all we've got time for. It's 6 p.m., which means it's Feierabend, which often comes hand in hand with a Feierabend beer. Personally, it took me some time to assimilate into the working culture here, but now I really appreciate the work-life balance. What's it like in your country? Let us know in the comments. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna make it in today. <laughs> Overtime is rarely paid. And I've forgotten what the last line is. <laughs>